welcome to your weekly forecast for February 9th until 16th. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. <clears throat> oh. Running away from someone, eh? Okay, Libra, you will be thinking of moving, or you'll be moving this week, okay? You're, you're, you're feeling like this is the time where you have to move or look for a new breathing ground, okay? You're feeling a little bit discontented and uh, not so happy with your current surroundings right now, and uh, this place doesn't really serve you well anymore. You're also thinking about work. You're thinking about, you know, what's going to happen into your future. You're also waiting for a, uh, like a job offer, okay, uh, to come your way. And um, I feel like you will be receiving a very good news around Thursday this week. Thursday or Wednesday, okay. Even though it is not something that you're expecting, or even though it's not something that, you're, that you really want at this point, be a little bit more practical. If you feel like this is not enough during this point, while you're waiting, just try to accept this, you know? Well, uh, that is if, uh, you know, if uh, you still have a lot of uh, <coughs> funds to spare, then don't accept it. But I'm telling you, you're going to be a little bit stagnant for a little while, okay? So, you need to be a little bit more practical. Now... You are also thinking about somebody from the past who's younger than you and someone who's an earth sign, okay? You're still thinking about this person. You're, it still um, hits you. It's still kind of haunting you and hurt you. But uh, you need to wait for the right time for this person to be back into your life. And I feel like you have pushed this person too much because of your fears, because of your personal issues, or because of your trust issues. Now, <clears throat> and, you know, it's still hurting you, breaking you apart, and, you know, tearing it down. You know, whatever that already happened to you in the past, you need to put it all behind you and wait for the right time, wait for the right moment. You need to form that, you know, positivity, you know, for you to attract the right kind of energy. And if you're waiting for this person to come back into your life, then I feel like you need to do, you know, the things that the universe is trying to teach you or the universe, what the universe is trying to mold you into. Because there are some things that you need to change right within you. You will also be traveling right around the middle of this week. And there will be some changes that you're going to be very happy. Because happy news or good news is coming your way. Okay. And I feel like you will be talking to a uh, like an authoritative person. Which is, you know, uh, this is possibly the uh, the job offer that you've been waiting for. And you will finally be signing the contract. And you'll somehow realize, like, ah, better than nothing, you know. And <clears throat> right now, you don't really want to think anything about emotional dramas, okay. Because I feel like there will be some family member, or there is a family member that will be coming your way to throw off uh, some of their, you know, emotional baggages. And for you, you're already going through your own thing. You're already going through a lot of stuff in your life right now. And you don't really have time for this, you know? Like, yeah, sometimes you do listen and sometimes you feel them or you do take heart into their situation, but not this week. You feel like this week is my week, okay? And... This person will take it the other way around, okay? Because I feel like they're going to feel that you're, that you're not really paying attention to them or you're not being a good person to them, okay? So, hmm. 
now don't try to get in touch with this earth sign for now i know that you've been missing this person for some reason but uh, this is not yet the right time um i feel like they're all they've already moved on with their life and they've already you know um learned their lesson as well <coughs> but just try to be a little bit more open-minded and uh, open, you know, to the possibilities of what tomorrow will bring to you. And you also need to realize that don't push people away that comes into your life. Okay, next time you have to work on your fears and you need to work on your trust issues. Now let's take a look at your Oracle cards. You've been thinking about moving anyway for like the past few months. All right, let's take a look. Time to go. Ah, oh, well. As I've said, you need to stop wallowing over what's spilled and stop looking back into the past. I know that you've got a lot of regrets into your life right now, but um, you can't really bring back the past, you know? Now it's time for you to go, it's time for you to leave some of the, um, you know, painful occurrences or experiences or memories uh, of the past and uh, even that person that you're still thinking about or that person that you're still waiting because you feel somehow guilty for pushing this people for, sorry for pushing this person away out of your life but there's nothing that you can do what's done is done and all you need to do right now is learn your lesson and you just need to discard some of your negativities you know inside your heart inside your body and you know, one thing that you have to do as well, you need to move on from your past. Stop repeating the same patterns, the same behavior, and the same thing in a relationship. You know, you've been waiting for somebody to love you, and you've been wa you've been dreaming of true love or being with your soulmate. But whenever there's already somebody inside your heart or somebody inside your life, you keep on pushing them away, and you keep your you know you keep on building up your walls and it's like you're so afraid of what if this person is only um like they only want money from me or they only want something from me or this person is just like seeing somebody else while they're trying to use me you know not all people that's going to come into your life will hurt you and will use you okay we all have our own issues and it's only a matter of dealing with it and you also need to learn how to bring out the best in someone and not the worst in them. Now, fork in the road, you are already standing at a crossroads. As I've said, move on and stop holding on to the past because whatever that you've already done, that's done. Okay, there's nothing that you can do. You can't turn back time. All you need right now is face your future and keep on moving on and keep on moving forward. And sometimes for you to know how it is, you will be placed in you know in, in that person that you have hurted in their place so that you can see how it is or how you know like how do they really feel when you're the one who's been pushing them away you will be meeting somebody or you will be dealing with someone whom will put you in that exact place okay of the people that you've been hurting of the people that you've been pushing and sometimes you feel so alone because nobody wants to listen to you nobody wants to be there for you when people needs you you're there for them but when when you need people nobody's you know nobody's available nobody answers their phone so you're feeling a little bit isolated and lonely and it's like uh, there's nobody there for me and you also need to catch up on your sleep because you haven't been sleeping and you haven't been uh, resting okay you're you're always wide awake you're waiting for you know for your mails to come always checking on your phone always checking on the social media and stalking someone well not really stalking someone but just checking on their profiles you know whatever they're up to 
but it's time for you to get a grip of the reality. Okay? So, anyway, that's it for you for this week, Libra. If you want to talk to me live in the phone or live in the calls, it's already there, available on my website. Just go and visit me at my website, sofiangel.net. Uh, you just need to register for you to access the pages. All right. And pre-recorded video readings. Oh, and get your personalized annual forecast for 2019. All right. So have a great weekend and blessings to you.